Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden coming to you from the from the ranch. And uh, in the background, way way over there, you can see the heifers. They're kind of heading towards the back of the property. And uh, <clears throat> today, they're in this pasture that I put them last weekend. And this is eight acres. And uh, this pasture. I was letting them come to this pasture and this other pasture, which is five acres, which is the front. Except that my neighbor's got a bull on that side, right behind that barn. And uh, he called me a couple of days ago. He says, hey, I haven't seen my bull in two days. I think it's over on your side with your heifers. And that just, I mean, that, that put, put a lot of worry in me because these heifers are, are not ready. They're, one of them is like nine months and the other ones are about 13 months. So I asked him, hey, you know, get them out of there as quickly as possible. And uh, towards the end of the day, he called me and says, hey, don't worry that the bull's not in your pasture. He went to another f pasture that's basically where this pasture is on the next side. It belongs to a, another neighbor. It's empty. He went to that side. And uh, I, I guess he was trying to get into my side but he couldn't do it because of the because of the fence so he went kind of took the long route looking for some some uh some place to jump or where it's not too high or something so anyway <laughs> he went back to his property and and uh, that was that but uh today I'm, I'm putting distance between them so I'm, I'm using this gap here i got this little gap there, let's see if I put, there we go. I got this gap right here that I did a couple of days ago. And uh, I'm closing this gap to keep the cows on that side. And uh, that should put about 120 yards of uh, distance and two fences between the heifers and the bull. And this uh, tub of feed was, by the front of the property and I had to had to bring it over here and I couldn't put it in the back of the truck because man it's heavy it's about 200 pounds so I couldn't lift it so I just kind of put this little cart on the side back this thing into it and then I just flipped it upright and dragged it here and it was still pretty heavy but anyway so these cows are going to be here for about one more week and then I'll switch them back to this side and uh, we'll see uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned about that bull getting them early I made a video earlier today about uh, about finances and about uh, finances in, in, in the ranch, money management and stuff like that, expenses. And uh, I know a lot of a lot of a lot of ranchers, a lot of farmers. As soon as they, that that heifer is turning 13, 14 months, they're putting a bull on it because they want to get as much money as possible, as quickly as possible. They want to get as many calves as they can out of, out of that heifer cow in the future. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's, that's the standard. Uh, that's how the industry operates. I, I, I don't like that. I don't like to put a, a bull on a, on, a, on, a, on a heifer that young. I, I've talked to several people, uh, including, including my uncle, and uh, they normally, well, he, he normally puts bulls around two years on, on, on his on his heifers, just, just around eight, anything over 18 months, but closer to two years. He's not in any rush to get a lot of cows. He's not in, in a rush to to see if he can squeeze one more calf out of that, that cow. He is, however, a little bit like me, that he doesn't get to see his cows on a daily basis, so the last thing he wants is... Uh, heifers that can't deliver and uh, he he thinks and he's been doing ranching for many many years he's also a doctor uh, he thinks that uh, heifers when they are not fully developed into cows you know because they say you you, you can you can you can breed a heifer that when she's about 65 percent for mature weight yeah sure but the, that 13 months they're about there uh, doesn't mean it's right you know, teenage girls, what? She's pretty much reaches her mature weight around 13, 14 years old, but that doesn't mean it's right either, right? I mean, they're not ready, ready. 
although they could do it. But the other thing is that uh, he thinks that uh, once the, the heifer gets uh, bred, her development stops. So you end up with a smaller framed cow and, uh, and you may have some, some uh, calving issues. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. One thing I know for sure, we never had, very rare that we have calving issues at the ranch. And, and we had a lot of cows there. And they were all, I mean, roaming around 4,000 acres of land. So we, we got to see them very, I mean, not, not sell them, but not very, not, we didn't get to see them uh, calf, you know, they would go hide somewhere and calf and then you see the calf three or four days later. And very seldom did you lose calves to, to, to cows like that. But, but the bulls were mostly preoccupied with the, with the mature, mature cows and they were not really going after the heifers because it's, they have a lot of, the heifers tend to run away when they're not ready. For, and, um, and the bulls are not gonna be running after young heifers. He's gonna go after the cows that are in heat. But in this enclosed space, which is only eight acres in this pasture, well, if a bull gets in here, it's, a, you know, it's like, a, like a, chicken hawk, a chicken hawk inside a, a chicken coop, you know? So that's why I'm putting some distance between the, the cows here and, and that bull over there. Hopefully he doesn't jump two fences to get to them. Now, because I, I did see them a while ago. There were one of them, one of my, one of my heifers was uh, kind of very close to the bull and just kind of getting you know, talking to his ear and stuff like that, you know. The bull was making funny noises and <laughs> he was getting a little romantic with her. So I said, well, let me let me just put some distance between them. And that's it. So uh, I'll be putting a bull, if this one doesn't get ahead of me, on these about probably next spring, I guess. Uh, maybe, yeah, around next spring or early, early winter, February or so of next year. And uh, and that by then they'll be about 22 months old, and that, that that should be okay. I'm not in a hurry to to get one more extra calf out of the heifer. You know, I, I rather I rather have a calf that that's born without problems than than a calf that's born to a to a heifer that's barely barely a mature cow at 22 at 24 months, which is what happens in, in this industry. They're putting bulls on, on heifers that are 14 months to 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 get a, a calf at 23. It's done all the time. I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm saying it's right. I just don't like it. So uh, uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And that's it folks. Um, that's all there is for me today. Until next time, thanks for watching.